If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose mm -hmm, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I'm bringing to you a paper crafting DIY. I know it's been a minute since I brought you one of those. The holiday seasons are right around the corner and quite honestly, I can't even believe I'm hearing myself say that, but it's true, which means a lot of us like to incorporate a handmade homemade gift or just add that handmade homemade touch onto a gift. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can take something as simple as an oil diffuser. I know it's an oil diffuser, but who doesn't love to receive those? Plug them in, pick whatever scent you like and have your house or your room smelling amazing. You get to pick your own scents. It's refillable. It's a great gift. It's the gift that just keeps on giving, right? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can add that homemade handmade touch to it by making your own packaging. It's quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly, and it's gonna make it a gift that you can feel good about gifting, and it's gonna be a gift that somebody absolutely loves to receive because you added that special touch onto it. So I'm gonna quit my yabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some paper crafting DIYing on a budget. Yeah, because that's what we do here. That's what I do here. I love paper crafting. You should too, try it. You'll like it. Okay, let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. If you're interested in following me on this next new chapter of my life and all of the amazing paths that it takes me on, you can find the link to my blog in the description box below where I will be posting a new blog every Friday morning at 8 a.m. This is where I get personal because everything is personal, including this blog. Before I jump into today's quick and easy paper crafting DIY, I wanted to show you some of the items that you can pick up from Dollar Tree that will give you the capability of doing any and all of the paper crafts that I bring to you. Paper crafting doesn't have to be expensive. You don't need a lot of the fancy tools to do it. You can get away with doing every paper crafting DIY that I bring to you using these items here that you can get from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so today's DIY are these adorable gift boxes that are custom sized to fit this oil diffuser. This one is by Mainstays. When I saw this, I just thought it was so cute and rustic and farmhouse. And I thought that this would make for a really fun gift because you buy these all the time at Bath and Body Works and you're gonna pay way more than $4 for one. And so the fact that you can get one of these for $4 at Walmart is an amazing buy. And I think if you just package it in a way that you're adding that homemade handmade touch to it, I think it really adds to a gift. And so these are the two boxes that I've made and I am going to show you today how to make this here box. Alrighty, so starting off, with our base, which is going to be a solid color cardstock. This is a nice heavy duty cardstock that I got at Michael's. We're gonna need two seven and a half by seven and a half inch pieces. Since this square is seven and a half all the way around on all four sides, we're gonna start off by scoring it at a half inch. It doesn't matter what side you pick, because like I said, these are all seven inch sides. So we're gonna score at a half inch here and three and a half inches. Now we're gonna rotate our paper and we're gonna score at four inches. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other seven and a half by seven and a half inch piece of green cardstock that we had here. So again, on this one, we're gonna score at a half inch and we're gonna score at three and a half inches. Then we're gonna rotate it and we're gonna score at four inches. For the cover, that's five and one eighth by six and one eighth. We're gonna score 
at one inch all the way around on all four sides. So it doesn't really matter what side you start on, we're just gonna score at one inch all the way around. So for the box, we've got our half inch scoring line here. And you'll see that there's a smaller section and then there's a longer section down here. On this smaller section, we're gonna remove this rectangle right here, this little flap right here. And I'm gonna use the scoring lines as my guide. We're gonna go ahead and cut a slit right in between these two boxes where the scoring line is, because this is gonna be the base of our box here. I'm gonna fold in my scoring lines. And we're gonna do the same thing to this piece. We've got the longer, bigger squares and rectangles here, and we've got the shorter ones. We've got the half inch here. We're gonna take out this piece here. And again, with this one, fold in all of our scoring lines. So now we're gonna take our two pieces, we've got our bottom here, and by simply cutting our box in half and adding this half inch flap, it allows us the capability of making a bigger box than we would typically be able to make using an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper or even a 12 by 12. And so that is just a quick, easy way to make a bigger box is to actually just cut your box in half and add a half inch flap off to the side so you can connect another side to it. And so that's what we're gonna do just by placing a bit of adhesive here. We're gonna go ahead and just attach these two pieces here. And it's really actually easier if you just lay it on top. See, and voila, we've got our box. And so now with this half inch piece, we're going to go ahead and add more adhesive right here. And this is going to close off our box. There we go. And there we have got a box. We're gonna close in our bottom here. Oh, my bottom is a little bit too long. You know what? This happens from time to time. We're gonna just shave a little bit off here. I must have measured wrong. That's what happens when you're paper crafting until midnight. But that's okay, easy fix, right? There. And I'm just gonna add a bit of adhesive down here. So now that we've got our box, we're gonna do the lid and then we'll worry about adding some decorative paper and embellishments. We've got the lid to our box that is five and one eighths by six and one eighths that we scored at one inch all the way around. So we've got a box here, a box here, a box here, and a box here. We're gonna take our scissors and we are just going to cut an angled slit. We're gonna just kind of angle it and taper it a bit, only on one side, like that. And we're gonna do that on all four of these. And so you should be left with this. We're gonna fold in all of our scoring lines. Once we've got all our scoring lines folded in, we're gonna take our four tabs that we cut slits in, and we're gonna place just a bit of adhesive here, right on those folded edges. Then we're just gonna fold them in and attach them to the sides. And there, you see we've got a lid for our box. Now let's decorate this. 
This here, Love & Grow stack that I got from Joann's. This is a double-sided paper stack that I got on clearance for $4.97. I picked up, I think, I wanna say five of them. I got five stacks of paper that were double-sided for 25 bucks, which I thought was a really great buy on clearance just recently at Joann's. Double-sided paper is really fun. Um, not only is it a good, thick quality paper, but you can do DIYs, paper crafting DIYs, where you want the inside to be decorated too. And so when I see stacks like this on sale, I typically do pick them up, especially if they're a beautiful print like this, because it always comes in handy. For the lid, you're gonna need two decorative pieces of paper that measure out at two and three quarter inches long by three quarter inches wide, that's two of them. You're gonna need two that measure out at three and three quarter inches long by three quarter inches wide. And for the decorative piece here on top, I've got this piece that says, make it happen that came in the paper stack and this measures out at three and seven eighths by three and three quarters. So with these, we're just gonna add some adhesive. Look at how cute that is. I just love the yellow with that green contrast in the back. So stinking cute. The decorative paper that we're gonna be needing to do this here box, the measurements measure out at three and a quarter by three and three quarters. You're gonna need two pieces of that and two pieces that measure out at two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And that is gonna go on all of the sides of our box. Look at how stinking cute that is. I love this, I love this, I love this. And really there's not much else that needs to be done to this, but I thought that it would be fun to add a couple of flowers to the top. For today's embellishments, I'm using some flowers that I got from Dollar Tree, but if you wanna do this, say in a Christmas theme, and you can't find any embellishments, you can find some of these die cut embellishment packs available in Linda's Etsy store for instant digital download, or she will cut and send them to you with free shipping. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store, guess where? Yes, in the description box below. And these are flowers that you can get from Dollar Tree by Jot. They do have some puffy tape, but I'm gonna add some hot glue anyway. Just a little something. Less is more sometimes. I'm gonna add just a little bit of Dollar Tree shredded paper just to fill in some of that open space. And there we have it. Isn't that just so stinking cute? I can hardly stand it. I love it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Angela P, who is bringing to us her version of my DIY paper crafting red truck. Angela, you did an amazing job. I am loving the paper you picked and the flowers that you put in the back of the truck. Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. How beautiful is that box? Did I tell you this is a two-part series? Well, it is, if I didn't. Today, I brought you the plug-in diffuser itself. In a couple weeks, I'm going to be bringing to you a packaging idea for the bottles. And it'll be a packaging idea, I guess, for two bottles, to hold two bottles. And so you'll want to stay tuned for that. I hope you all enjoyed today's paper crafting gift packaging DIY. Paper crafting DIY? Yeah, that. Please make sure to give this video mm -hmm, a big thumbs up. And let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy paper crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay safe.